Greetings, this is the Software and Computer Museum team. We're starting a series of videos about rare equipment. This video will be dedicated to the Robotron 1715M computer, also referred to as 1715V. It is a personal computer manufactured in East Germany. But first, a little bit of history. In 1949, the organization Council for Mutual Economic Assistance was established in Eastern Europe. Starting from 1960, it became an alternative to the European Economic Community. The main goal was economic and scientific cooperation, including the exchange of experience in the field of technology. In particular, specialists in informatics were involved in the development of modern electronic computing machines and computing devices. After 1963, East German industry started developing its own data processing systems for the Council of Economic Assistance. In 1969, the Robotron Combine was created, uniting enterprises that worked on the Robotron 300 mainframe. In this complex, more than 20 companies and approximately 68,000 employees were part of it. Initially led by Rafina from Radeberg, leadership was later transferred to Robotron Electronic with its HQ based in Dresden. It also included the factory of office machines in Zomerda, one of the largest manufacturers of computer equipment in Eastern Germany. The Robotron 1715 computer was introduced at this enterprise in 1984 and was consistently produced from 1985 until 1989. 93,000 of devices were produced in two versions. Robotron 1715 was used for general clerical work with a compact design and low production costs. The Robotron 1715V hardware unit comprises a main board, a display controller and two disk drives. It has 256 kilobytes of RAM and an 8-bit UA880 processor which works at a frequency up to 4 MHz. The NGMD U8272 controller is located on the main board, simplifying data filtering from diskettes and reducing component count. The operating systems were redesigned for the new hardware. The serial interface is implemented by the UA8560 programmable controller with a speed of up to 550 kilobit per second. The UA858 chip allows direct data transfer between different memory areas and peripherals without a CPU. There are also two UA857 timers with four programmable communication channels. Robotron 1715V can load character sets via software commands, making it perfect for multilingual applications. For graphics, the KR580VG75 chip enables display of a character screen with resolution up to 80 by 64 characters, limiting vertical character size to 16 pixels. Additionally, the chip can display pseudographic symbols for drawing frames. The K7658 keyboard has several key variations and an internal mini computer based on the U880 processor for character recoding. The connection interface is implemented according to the RS232 standard. Despite the similarities between Robotron 1715 and Robotron 1715V, the latter used the SCP 3.0 operating system. An SCP abbreviation can be deciphered as Single Computer Control Program. The SCP 3.0 operating system, like the previous version, is compatible with CPM system, which was very common at the time. Moreover, CPM was originally created for Intel 8080 processors. It was an ideal choice for the Robotron 1715V, since it had a U880 processor, compatible with Zilog Z80. Compared to the previous SCP-1715 system, the installation of the operating system was distributed among separate commands and there was no central installation program aside from the system. Files necessary to ensure the operation of the system, there also were programs to ensure work with it, such as copying from one floppy disk to another, setting the current date and time, displaying the contents of the floppy disk on the monitor, deleting a file from the floppy disk, renaming files and much more. There was also the TOSM operating system for the Robotron 1715B, which was created for the Soviet Robotrons, which differed slightly from the German ones, in both name and hardware. In addition to the operating system, the Robotron 1715V required software to work. In the Soviet Union, ordinary office programs adapted for Russian-speaking users were distributed for Robotrons. Among these were the Refor program, which was based on the then-known WordStar program, which allowed editing text, formatting it, managing document files and outputting them to the printer. Air Veritab, which was based on the spreadsheet editor SuperCalc, 
Card 1715 allows you to create and work with automated card index systems. This is based on the database management system. By the way, Robotron 1715V also had such a program. Its name was Rayboost. This program is a Russian translation of the Debase 2 database management system, which was also widely distributed. Although the Robotron was developed as an office computer, there were enthusiasts who used its capabilities to the fullest. A good example is the casino game, which takes advantage of all the features from the 1715V model, namely the larger amount of RAM in the character set that can be downloaded from the software. The first game is Casino Slot Machine. The player has to try his luck by making combinations of cards and winning money. Each draw generates random cards, but you have the option of exchanging unwanted cards for new ones. The winnings depend on the combination and you can withdraw the bet, win extra money, or even win the grand jackpot. The second game is Poker Dice. Here, the player must roll the appropriate combination using the dice. The choice of round depends on the player and his opponents. If you have the best combination, you win. The third game is Blackjack. In this classic game, you have to get a combination of cards that add up to 21. You play against the computer, drawing cards one at a time and trying not to go over 21. If you win, you obtain double of your bet. The Software and Computer Museum team was with you. Subscribe to our channel where you can find new reviews of rare equipment.